Is this the Babe Terminal? Yes. This way, Master Yuito. They will answer all of your questions. I'm sure you are having difficulty believing all you learned here today. That doubt will turn to belief if you speak with Babe. Please trust in the teachings. The moon is always watching over you. Wataru, do you copy? <sighs> no good. This room is cut off from Synet. Let's get the information we need and get out quickly. We're too vulnerable here. Yeah. Let's start up the terminal for now. Be careful. Oh, I guess there's no vision of Dr. Pope this time. How do we get information out of this? This feels like... an SAS. What is... I can't... My body... Stop! What you're doing is too dangerous. Cut the connection now! Can you hear me, Yuito? Kasane? The connection... Babe is trying to take over my brain? Yuito? <laughs> Yuito! Are you okay? What just happened? It seems like they were trying to hijack my brain. Thanks for disconnecting me. We have to stop. That believer was acting strange. They might have been after Yuito's brain from the very beginning. Luckily enough, Yuito's all right. Let's give up on the info and get the hell out of here. Yeah. But I wonder if they'll just let us leave. Yuito, I forced myself in because I was nearby. Kasane! You're in Togetsu too? Uh, wait, before that, thanks for saving me. Instead of thanking me, why don't you help me? Arashi and the others have been captured. They have? They're being held in some room, but I don't know which one. Are you in Babe's terminal? I want you to try to unlock all the doors in Togetsu from there. Okay, I'll try. What are they doing in Togetsu? No, I don't have time to think about that now. Babe is the computer that controls all of Togetsu, right? Maybe it can unlock all of the doors. Why do you ask all of a sudden? Kasane forced a brain talk connection with me. She said Arashi and the others are locked in a room somewhere. What? Kasane's in Togetsu? Is she after you again? No, I only realized I was in danger because she warned me. She wouldn't have helped me if she was planning to kill me. All right. It's unlikely that Kasane or her platoon are working with Togetsu. So something must have happened to them. Luka? We can't let Yuito be taken over. Don't worry. It looks like I can operate it normally. Helping Kasane platoon is all well and good. But we have to make a plan to get ourselves out of here. Right. If I just unlock this... <laughs> That's to be expected. But this should let them escape as well. Thanks, Luca. Everyone, let's get out of here.
coming. Stay on your toes. Did she come with Kyoka? No, wait, this is... Hey, quit messing around. Your way out's getting closed off. I'm breaking through! What was it that just attacked us? They look just like Kasane and Kyoka. Design children. So it's not just Kyoka. Kasane is one of Togetsu's design children, too? Can you think of another reason they'd have the same face? Enemies approaching at four o'clock. Reinforcements, maybe. There's no time to talk. Just focus on getting out of there. Doesn't look like anyone's following us. Maybe they gave up. Looks like it, but stay on your guard. I wonder if Kasane's team got out all right. Whoa, other reading closing in. It's a big one. Dead ahead. Are you okay? <laughs> Not now. No. There's no way I can drink that. I'm fine. I can fight. I hit the outer shell. Here we go. 
I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. That ice is like armor, but my power might be able to melt it. safe. How's your head? Don't strain yourself. I'm better now. Sorry I made you worry. Yuito, can you and your platoon hear me? Kasane! Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are you near us? Yes, but we're closer to Togetsu than you, and we're still running. Let me make a suggestion. You learned something in there, right? Why don't we exchange intel? And... We have a lot to talk about. And here I was thinking she wouldn't want to talk. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Good. That settles it. We'll be waiting halfway up Hiano Mountain. Roger that. See you then. Sorry. I should have checked with you guys first. You're the one Kasane is after. If that's what you want to do, I don't mind. But can you trust her? I told you that she saved me in Togetsu. I think she had a reason for trying to kill me. So I want to talk to her. What are you gonna do if she doesn't want to talk and just attacks you? Then I'll fight. Okay, 
If you say so, Commander. Let's get down the mountain for now. If I'm right about how she sounded, we should be able to talk. I'm a little worried about meeting up with Kasane. I mean, I hope we can talk to her, but... I'm not just going along blindly, but it was your decision. I want to respect that. Yeah. Here. It's all of Kasane, Platoon. Kasane! Looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. I tried to kill you because I was asked to. By you. Fifty years in the future. Me? Fifty years in the future? What are you talking about? I completely understand how you feel. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, there's no way I would have believed it either. Do you remember when Captain Seto died on the Kunod Highway, and we saw that strange sight? My time travel power, the red strings, activated. Then we jumped 50 years into the future. What? You went to the future? Red strings. That's right. You said you have dreams about those. It wasn't a dream. I have the ability to travel through time. A power called red strings. And Yuito, apparently you have the same power as well. What? I know we both use psychokinesis, but that's not what you're saying. It seems you understand these red strings a lot better than the rest of us. Just where did you get that knowledge? Was that from the future too? Yes, it was. We saw Yuito in the future. He told me quite a lot. He also asked you to kill me. Right. I'll tell you everything I learned in the future. That should answer everyone's questions. Who should I ask first? The thing that appears when the red strings are used is like a device to time travel. That's apparently what the Kunad Gate is. Normally it appears only for an instant and disappears immediately, but this time it didn't go away. Left open like that, the gate will eventually swallow the world. It was really bad 50 years in the future. In that world, the Kunad Gate was much bigger than it currently is here in our time. The end of the world. That's what it looked like. It seems that in that future, the gate had expanded so much that nothing could be done to stop it. first, none of us could believe what we had heard in the future. It was just too hard to swallow. We got some news in Ceyron, then a bunch of stuff happened, and now we can pretty much believe it. But I have to admit, it's gotta be hard to believe just hearing it for the first time. It was when Kasane used the red strings that the Kunod Gate opened. But when her power activated, it resonated with yours, Yuito. That's why the gate won't close. On top of that, the gate seems to be slowly expanding. And looking at the news we got from Ceyron, it more or less matches up. 
The power we both have is actually gravikinesis. It just looks like psychokinesis. When that gravikinesis becomes strong enough to travel through space and time, it's called red strings. I had no idea about that either. The Kunan Gate will disappear if Yuito dies. That's what future Yuito said. That just can't be true. It was already too late in the future, which is why he asked me that favor. He wanted me to kill you in the past, so the Kunan Gate could be eliminated before it got too large. So my power affected the Kunan Gate. I've had a bad feeling since listening to that vision in Togetsu. I can't believe I was right. So you knew? Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... the me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. All right, we should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? D did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? I yes All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. 
We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep. Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth, and then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything, but it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon, too. So they got to thinking. What can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again? and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time, so future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous, I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the red strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that, although it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive. 
but that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon, too. And then figure out what we can do, knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do. But it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to New Himuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. <laughs>